Fortnite Wrecked continues to be a very controversial season for Fortnite as the player base continues to be split over if the changes happening to the game are good, if they're bad, or if they're somewhere in between and Epic Games should just, you know, stop it, revert us back to day one. So in today's YouTube video, I want to talk about all the hot fixes that Epic Games didn't fully tell you about, all the specific information you need to know regarding them, and if this is going to be something that is going to be good for the community, bad for the community, or somewhere in between, but of course, as always, as I bring all this information to the table, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this hotfix update, and if Epic Games is trying to do a little bit too much to a piece of the competitive crowd, or if this is honestly perfectly fine in your book. So firstly, when it comes to all the changes, we have to talk about the Nitro Fist. As you guys know, Nitro has been something that has been modified multiple times this season already, with Nitro Splash, for example, having a change that actually made it so you do around 25 damage per charge into someone with Nitro equipped, instead of the normal 75, which was super powerful at launch, so they have been messing around with it a lot, and, and, and one of the old changes they had already done for the Nitro Gauntlets was increasing the cooldown time for each charge from 8 seconds to 11 seconds, making it a lot slower to actually do the fist attacks, right? Like, diving around, dodging, you know, uppercutting, all that type of stuff, but of course, when it comes to these changes, it's something that we kind of just gotta deal with because of how we can't really do much about it except complain, and we already know what complaining has done, right? I mean, it's just caused more changes to actually happen here. So when it comes to the changes, let's firstly talk about Nitro Fist. They have gone ahead and modified the actual amount of damage it's going to be doing whenever you do a ground pound to players. So whenever you do the whole entire like right click ability where you just slam straight down, instead of doing originally 70 damage, it got decreased by 28%, so now it only does 50 damage. The environmental damage to stuff like builds and stuff has also been decreased by 54%, so instead of doing a punch and environmentally damaging walls or whatever by 130 HP, it is now only going to do 60 HP of damage to those builds, so that is a massive decrease, basically meaning two punches is equivalent to one punch post-patch or whatever else now, and it is just something that you kind of got to deal with, all that type of stuff, but it is interesting to see how they're doing these massive nerfs to the fist out of absolutely nowhere. But that's not where it stops, because they also went ahead and modified the environmental uppercut damage, so whenever you like go upwards and you do a little bit of damage, you can also do damage to builds. They have nerfed that by 54%, so instead of doing 130 environmental damage when you uppercut a build, it is now only going to do 60 as well. Basically meaning that the actual damage that we have when it comes to the whole entire fist has been decreased by 28% to players and decreased by 50% to actual builds, making the fist a lot less of a scary option to go up against because, I mean, as you saw right there, they hit me once and it basically did nothing to me, right? It left a little bit of a scratch, but it's not like it's just going to eviscerate and eliminate me on day one, so that is a little bit of an interesting change. And then speaking of the Nitro benefits and all that type of stuff, while it isn't the Nitro Fist, they have changed the actual drop size and a lot of stuff regarding the Nitro Splashes. This one is a buff, so it's not an actual nerf, but they made it so the max stack size now goes up to 6 instead of the previous value of 4. They made it so whenever you find it naturally in floor loot and everything else, you'll find it in stacks of 3 instead of 2, and they now made it so that you have infinite stamina whenever you use the nitro splashes so at least they aren't just nerfing everything into the ground and they are buffing some things here and there i guess it takes one evil to nerf another evil you know whatever you want to say about it definitely let me know down below on top of that though we had some changes to some of the weapons such as the tactical assault rifles damage being increased by one for all rarities so instead of doing 19 damage for a common tactical ar you'll now do 20 damage with the common tactical ar all the way up to 24 with like mythic rarity uh and then for the harbinger SMG, it actually has been buffed, so now the fire rate's been increased by 5% from 9.5 to 10, and the reload time has been decreased by 4% for all rarities, meaning that you, instead of having 2.86 seconds to reload a common rarity version, it's now 2.75 seconds for a common rarity, and then if you have a legendary version, instead of 2.21 seconds, it's now going to be 2.12 seconds, so just a little bit of a faster reload time for the Harbinger SMG, but it is interesting to see that being a weapon that gets a lot of buffs here, because if we actually use it right here, you know, it does definitely pack a punch and it feels like an effective weapon to actually be using in the game now with the seasons nerf and buffs and all that type of stuff but of course you know it's going to be something that we could see nerfed again in the future we just kind of got to see how these changes affect the gameplay and if epic games decides you know what actually we want to recook and we want to go ahead and nerf this once again is it really that big of a change i mean if you're someone like me who oh my god you know what maybe i should just not play this game anymore 
I don't want to talk about that. I do not want to talk about whatever just happened here. Anyways, back to the nerfs and buffs and everything else, the boom boat's environmental damage to structures has been decreased by 50%, and that is kind of something we noticed as a trend with this update, is that they're decreasing how much damage you can do to builds a lot. Like, as we just mentioned, you know, the environmental damage and stuff with Nitro Fists have been nerfed and everything else, and now the boom boat's environmental damage has been nerfed, so if you want to know the specifics for the boom boat, whenever you actually deal damage to a structure, so, you know, you shoot at a wall or something, Normally, in common rarity, it would do 90 damage, and in legendary rarity, it would do 104 damage, but now it does 45 damage in common rarity, and 52 damage all the way in legendary rarity. So, a massive nerf all across the board, basically halving the damage you're actually going to do to builds, and definitely trying to make this season a little bit more powerful for build players, when you could originally just kind of drive a car into everything. But speaking of cars, we're not done with the hotfixes changed yesterday, because we do have some hotfixes to vehicle modifications, making them nerfed once again. Firstly, the grenade launcher turret's damage has been decreased by 7%, so instead of doing 70 damage and now does 65 damage per shot, they have also made it so that the machine gun turret has gotten multiple nerfs, such as the fire rate being decreased by 7%, so instead of a fire rate of 7, it has a fire rate of 6.5. It also has had player damage reduced by 10%, so instead of doing 30 damage to players, it now does 27, and it's had environmental slash structure damage reduced by 41%, meaning instead of doing 55 damage to builds, it's now only going to do 32 damage to builds. So to kind of summarize everything going on with this hotfix update, they have done a lot of changes here that weren't so focused on damage to players, but were a lot more focused on damage to structures. With this, they have also made one buff, which is the nitro splash drop sizes and everything else, but other than that, just kind of a lot of nerfs across the board, unless you're someone who uses the Harbinger SMG, you got a pretty decent buff with this update as well. Well, but it does bring up the question, how are they going to continue trying to balance out the season, and are they going to continue nerfing the environmental damage to a point where nothing can break builds except cars anymore? I would love to hear what you guys think about this whole entire situation, and you know, if you like this overall, but I do know that over on social media, such as Twitter and everywhere else, this has been a very controversial patch, because we have a lot of people talking about, oh, this side of the community ruined the season, I miss week one of Wrecked, I miss blah blah blah, and you know, there are some people being like, this is actually pretty chill. I'm fine with it. I don't get why everyone's complaining, right? So I would love to see just, you know, how split the community is. But until next time, yeah, we have a pretty controversial seasonal update here. And I mean, regardless of it, I'm probably just going to be chilling in my bot lobbies anyways until I do rank towards the very end of the season. So it's not like I really care about certain things like that too much. But I definitely do think they are kind of going overkill out of nowhere, just kind of nerfing all the damage to structures into the absolute ground. But until next time, my name's Fire Monkey. Hope you champs and champions enjoy today's video, and I'll see you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.